Well, hey, you guys are going to like this one. It's, it's getting on dust, so i got to shoot this one quick because this is the thing. You know, I made it over same day. I didn't quite make it before they closed with crane parts, and I'm at the customer's driveway, so I am, like, right at the gate so I can get unloaded right away. I'm in Georgia, Atlanta, so there's a storm coming, and uh, I've got a load already pretty much lined up couple hundred miles from here going to St. Louis so I'm gonna be squared away but let's get on this load and, and let's talk about it what's cool is all of these boom pieces all I have to do is move my tarps down below here everything had to have rubber on it you know where we're having really serious contact with the straps so <laughs> the first set and I threw uh, uh, belly straps. I got three on the bottom, you know, so you see this is just that rubber uh, crap that they give you. They have it right there in a whole big basket, wire basket. So I just kind of pitched them through and, you know, so it would kind of hold on to it. And then they dropped this other one on there. Now these are oak beams. These suckers are flipping heavy, I'm telling you. This big one over here, there was a guy pushing on on the other side and he couldn't even hardly move it. That shows you how heavy it was. So, I wouldn't worry about the wood moving really that much as long as, you know, everything. And I'm, by the way, thank you for checking on me on my hand. It don't look too bad. I mean, the scars are going to be there for a while. That fingernail is going to fall off. But there it is right there. The raw honey is all I used on it. And the bandages were a paper towel and flipping duct tape. You know, do what you, what you got to do first aid kit really wasn't going to help me much and I didn't use any antibacterials I, honey, raw honey uh, bacteria can't can't grow in that so that's what they use to protect the hive and that's why I put that on there and it dried like a cover and I never had a problem not one never leaked it never got affected there wasn't any seepage it was great I thank you all for asking I appreciate it and yeah, because it can be a pain in the ass. I, I got a load home, drove all the way home from Lexington, Kentucky, you know, basically. Uh, same uh, stuff. And ended up, I think, in flipping, uh, what the hell, Oregon or some kind of crap. Uh, no, no, I was, I finally like Yakima area or something. That wasn't too bad. And I picked up my old shit on the way home and most like, I couldn't even remember. It's just one after another. I've been trying to hustle and you know, make uh, a dollar like everybody else. But anyhow, these guys, you know, they went, it was about 380 miles. It wasn't too bad. Even with that stuff up there like that, nothing moved. There wasn't any problems. It's all sitting on that rubber, and that sure helps with friction, you know, because that stuff's real sticky. Real, real, real sticky. Now, with these guys being like us, they just put some little bit of dunnage in there to kind of get the height right and everything. But I did put a strap over it. I mean, these suckers, they're heavy, and they ain't going to come undone, um, you know. But I still, with all that weight on, uh, you know, from both these pieces, I wanted something on there legally and for my peace of mind. And, you know, I didn't want this shit to move. Yeah, they need a strong base. And this box here was just pretty simple. You know, I just did a, I, I ran out of winches. That's the problem. I was throwing straps like a, a crazy man. So I just used a couple of my portables. And I did buy, like I was telling you guys the other day, um, two inch straps, some of them were damaged. I found one, got nicked. I just traded all my points in. I got two full ratchet and uh, straps and then two replacement straps only. So, you know, now I'll have four working units again to go back with the other so these beams you know they had them all across and they did rubber everywhere and it was all loaded by you know kind of a, a, a portable crane setup you know they had a little bit like a, a smaller crane boom that they on four rubber tires it wasn't on a big old track or anything so <coughs> so we did pretty good on that and I wanted to get one right up there. Of course, I got to watch my spots and where I can put a winch because there's the dead spot here. But you know, I got one in there, and it really wasn't too bad of an angle, so I like that. 
This one was kind of weird, but I wanted to get it on um, the coil, and there is no slippage because these are separate pieces right here. So they're they're not going anywhere, but they were separate units. And I really didn't have anything left. You know, I didn't have any um, four-inch uh, stuff left at all. Um, I did go over, you know, with, you know, the amount of footage for covering. You know, I got that all covered. And I really wasn't too worried about anything moving around. I mean, if you look at it this way, you know, nothing changed. But this stuff was tied to the drum all the wood stayed where it was supposed to. Now I hadn't, I'd stopped and I did a, a load check and tighten straps at ceiling. I think at like eight, seven, you know, 78 miles, 80, right in there. So, you know, it's pretty close to that 75 mile rule. And I kind of knew where I could feel and do that too. So everything worked out pretty good. Looks like a piece, this piece came down and just kind of sat there and it was up tucked up in there but it just kind of fell through but it didn't come off so that was from the Atlanta uh, roads I came through Atlanta I'm just on the south side of it there's part of the airport you can see the planes they're just getting up to altitude now so I'm just south of the loop still got my twist of my strap everything is just you can hear how tight they are and so that's, you know, I, I reefed on them. I didn't want anything moving. I had a, one of them that I had settled in and I had to do two clicks. Some of them I could barely get another click, some of them no click. So, you know, I was happy with it. So I'm hoping these guys, everything seemed to be fine. They, when I checked on all this, they had everything clipped in, they had everything tied in. And I wanted, you know, they've got it all locked. They've done this so many times. They're the manufacturer. These are brand new cranes, parts. And it's coming to uh, a crane outfit down here. So I hope you like it. I'm hoping the lighting is good enough that you can see overall. We'll kind of step back a little bit and give you an overall shot. You can kind of, kind of see what's going on. And it was fun. I mean, I watched for my wood, you know. I didn't see any wood making any weirdness, changes, nothing. And uh, you wouldn't want that happening. <laughs> but everything had that, that sticky rubber. So it would have to really be loose to move against that kind of rubber. This is the, uh, it's just reconstituted rubber product. It's, you know, pretty cheap. You can tear it with your hand most of them but they, they have them in uh, big baskets huge baskets and, uh, pretty good shape but I hope that's it's a useful video uh, this one you don't always see this is I've hauled these before but I didn't always get a chance to get a a good shot of it trying to keep them pretty sure we're not boring the crap out of people and then also, you know, this was all welded one piece. There was nothing hydraulic here. You know, because you have to check all that kind of stuff. And everything's good to go there. So these are all like um, shock absorber style pins, I guess, or uh, rods. I don't know how they all work. I'm not a crane operator. I don't build. I think I did erector set stuff when I was a kid, but that's about it. But these straps being through this portion of the spring, there's no, uh, even though it's a round object, it's not going to allow it to slip out. So I'm looking at everything. That's the stuff that you'll have in your head. You always think, we'll do this, we'll do that. What direction? Because you're supposed to protect from movement on all directions. So, well, I think that's about it. I'm going to go relax, kill some mofos in one of my games, and uh, kind of just kick back and relax and rest and see these guys first thing in the morning. And then i got to get my uh, load the hell out of here for 
uh, the coming uh, Hurricane Matthew, and uh, I guess it's going to be nasty, but, uh, you know, this wasn't too bad. It was, a lot of this stuff doesn't pay uh, super great anymore, but it feels frickin' cheap. And I'm doing fine with it. Uh, I'm not getting rich, but if I can pay my bills, that's fine. That's about all a person can do anymore. Well, guys and gals, we'll see you on the road, and you have a good one.